Where is this bobby pin? I can feel you. Where are you? Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I was recently standing in line at Ulta, trying to behave. I saw a brand new display from their beauty line and I couldn't resist, so I actually got out of line to grab two lipsticks because this is their new Pat and Shine liquid lipstick, which, I mean, usually liquid lipstick, you think matte, you don't think shiny, which is right up my alley. So I grabbed two shades. I grabbed the shade Verona and I also grabbed Ibiza. Now it comes in 12 shades and I went online to see if this was a new release because the display looked like it was new, but oftentimes I found that I'll see a display, I'll think it's new and I'll buy it and get all excited. And then I go online and like, it's been around for 10 years and 50,000 people have given it a rating. They describe it as being infused with jojoba, coconut oil, avocado oil, shea butter. So it's supposed to be super creamy, deliver a very comfortable, hydrating wear, obviously. Now they say nothing about it being long lasting or transfer proof, so we are gonna give it an all day wear test to see how it does. Now these do retail for nine bucks each and this is a cruelty free brand, which I love. Now the other thing that they do say online is it's formulated without sulfates, uh, fragrance, parabens, basically all the crap you don't wanna be putting on your face anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and crack into these suckers because <laughs> I've had these now for two days and I'm about to die. Let's see if I can actually get in the packaging without wasting an hour of my life. Okay, it's gonna be so hard to decide what shade I want to wear, but starting with the Verona Nudie shade, so, okay, it has like your typical doe foot applicator. It smells fruity. Mm. Oh, okay, so in real life, this is showing up as more of a peachy pink, and on camera it looks like it's showing up as a bluish pink. And then Ibiza, which is a gorgeous coral. I do not have anything close to this in my collection. Uh, I say that, but I probably do. Obviously, starting with the nude shade. Okay, that's pretty opaque. Okay, so this is Verona and mm, it's very opaque. It has like the perfect consistency to it. So you feel like it's gripping on the lips, but it's not like strangling them to death, if you know what I mean. And the shine is just, oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Mm. It has enough substance to it where I feel like you could probably get away with eating and drinking your day away and it's gonna stay on relatively well throughout the day. So let's go ahead and try on that coral shade. Woo, that is bright. Um, That's very bright, but I like it. I just don't know if I wanna wear it today because I have to do an interview for a story I'm working on, so this might be a little bit much. Um, in terms of the feel, like it feels so good. This formulation just feels super comfortable on the lips. And like I said, you can tell it's gonna stay with you throughout the day. It's not gonna like disappear after eating or drinking anything. So, oh my gosh, this might be my new favorite. Mm. Well, one thing I will say is it's a little patchy, like, yeah. So upon application, you're going to have, at least I am, a little bit of patchiness, but once I just kind of rubbed it into my lips, it looks much better. One thing too I'm noticing is it doesn't stain your lips. Like, even just using this makeup remover, it, obviously that color was so bright, it's not leaving like an obnoxious hot pink stain on my lips. Back to the nudie peachy shade and I am loving these. It kind of makes me <laughs> want to go back to the store and see what other shades I might have missed. But in any event, I'm going to wear this all day, do a couple check-ins and I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
We are at the six hour mark and I'm just gonna call it because I am so in love with this formula. It is so good. I have been eating lunch, a couple snacks. I've been drinking out of my water bottle and look how much pigment is still left on my lips. There's still a little bit of shine left there. It feels comfortable. I have nothing bad to say about this product other than the fact that I wish I'd grabbed like 10 more shades. If you go to Ulta and you try this, leave me a comment below. Let me know what shade you tried, what you think uh, might be good for me next. But in any event, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.